highlight of my year is meeting many sustainability managers. Everyone knows what the others are talking about and we can really exchange all the nerdy stuff about sustainability. But it was also cool that I could find some people who were willing to share their path into sustainability. I really enjoyed hearing their stories on how they transitioned into sustainability, what they studied, um, which trainings they took and what they would recommend for everyone who wants to start in sustainability. I hope you can also enjoy their stories as much as I did. Okay, so what's your current job? What are you doing? Um, I'm Head of Sustainability for Swarovski Optics and um, I'm responsible for the sustainability strategy or, or better say responsible to develop the topic further mm -hmm. in our company. Uh, my name is Sophia. I'm working as a sustainability manager at Salonis. It's a software company based in Munich um, with global offices around the world. Sure, my name is Luisa and I'm a corporate responsibility manager at an international trading company based in Hamburg. So um, my name is Liz, I'm uh, originally from Australia but I've lived in Germany for quite a while. So I'm currently working as a sustainability manager in an IT company. Yeah, my name is Wolfram, it's about three years ago that I completely switched from product management to um, sustainability management. Um, so I'm Fabian, I'm from Munich, I'm working in a, in a startup, so we have a software basically to calculate emissions and uh, to, to uh, optimize the ESG management. So my name is Julian, um, I'm working with a project development company for solar projects since almost three years now. Mm. Um, and I'm trying to link uh, the requirements from financial markets with our project development business. Hi, Jona. Great that you're here. Um, can you tell us how you came into sustainability? Oh, just by accident, actually. I was working for Fineo, which is a company for a consultancy for um, social impact. And we were consulting for foundations and, and companies, uh, how they find good social projects. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and the last big project I had was with some, some companies from the uh, real estate sector and uh, afterwards uh, someone from the real estate sector asked me if I'm interested in doing sustainability for, for real estate. And what was your background? What did you study or learn? So I'm, I'm an economist. After uh, finishing my studies I wrote a dissertation on sustainability risks and sustainability risk management in developing countries. Mm -hmm. Struggled a bit with finding a job um, and then switched to consulting sustainable finance and now sustainability okay. management. Um, I have studied business administration and um, my background is Diplom Betriebswirt, which now I just learned is a Master of Business Administration. I did a master here in Germany. Uh, it's Global Change Ecology is the name of the master program. And I also did an extra certificate in environmental law. So I got a bit of an idea about um, German law, but also European law with like focus on environmental issues. Mm -hmm. uh, so I did an extra certificate in sustainability management mm -hmm. um, by correspondence. Um, and that was kind of the final step to go from more like the, the science side and into like more the, the company side. Of it. My background is actually business. So I did business studies before. Mm -hmm. uh, I studied business and languages so okay. was, um, in, in Scotland and also in Spain. Sustainability was always something which interested me, fascinated me, mm -hmm. and uh, I sort of slipped into it. Really. Okay. It happened that uh, uh, an opportunity arose where I could actually learn more about it because there's so much to learn. Mm. It was an incredible learning um, journey and I did different courses because um, mm -hmm. I, I was already working for the, for the company and I didn't take an out time to study and I also found it difficult to find actually a course mm -hmm. uh, to, which would teach the things I needed in, in a compressed time so I did online courses mm -hmm. with Cambridge University for example um, okay. um, on sustainability. And the rest is really just learning by doing and speaking okay. to other people and you okay. know, going along and trying things. And, um, so it's, it's, uh, it's been a learning journey and it still is, I think. <laughs> so a lot of networking with other sustainability managers yeah, exactly. like today. That's, that's exactly, that's super helpful, something mm -hmm. like the PS code. My background is, so I started off with uh, um, business as like a bachelor study program and then 
I focused on energy management and discovered my interest in sustainability and was able to focus in a master program on sustainability management. For example, I did a certificate for a sustainable entrepreneurship um, and I also uh, did a lot of online trainings, um, for example, on TCFD or any other available resources in the internet. Uh, politics, uh, economics and social sciences uh, and cultural studies as well. Um, nothing to do with sustainability in my studies. Mm. It's quite general business administration mm -hmm. and uh, I have an MBA, mm. um, but uh, sustainability wise I grew into the topic more or less. Uh, so I, uh, uh, you, you can say learning by doing mm -hmm. um, and I did some courses and certificates and trainings. Okay. And, uh, that's why how I came to, to sustainability. I, so I grew into into mm -hmm. the topic. And so it was a mixture of I was working for the CEO of a company, and mm -hmm. I basically ten years ago I said, uh, "Hey, the, the topic is growing, and mm -hmm. it's not just important for our company, also for our stakeholders." So mm -hmm. I said, "Let's try to make a sustainability uh, strategy." He said, "Yes." And, I started. Um, it's a little bit more complicated, I guess. Um, I started out as a student of political science. I had my first touching point with sustainability over 10 years ago as a working student for Bon Prix in the CR department. But then I kind of left this path and was in consulting for a time. But a couple of years ago, um, I decided to go back to university and do a master's in international business and sustainability. And I have been working in sustainability ever since. What would be your top tip for people who want to go into sustainability, who want to train something for it? Um, my top tip would be just to keep at it and then try to um, find a way in, you know, to find some practical work within a company mm -hmm. where you can start and be engaged because I, I find in sustainability uh, I feel that you know, it really lives in the company of people who are eager to you know uh, work on this topic. Probably to have a look at current legislation because a lot is going on with as I mentioned CSID or also the German uh, Supply Chain Act and now the European Supply Chain Act and um, to be um, really on top of all these developments and maybe do some trainings there because this is like really high in demand at the moment. But also don't lose focus for the things you are like really passionate about. If it is climate or maybe social justice um, and look a little bit more into these topics. Yeah, don't study it. <laughs> Just start. You have a good, good experience in several topics. But you don't need uh, an experience in uh, special studies, for, for, for example. But just go, go ahead and have a bright view and uh, passionate, you have to be passionate about it. That's all. I would really recommend to talk to people because there are so many people out there who are happy to share their experiences and their first steps. Um, which can be probably easily replicated by any other ones and also to just start leveraging the internet as well because there are so many resources available. Um, start registering for uh, newsletters or webinars and really make use of all the knowledge that people make accessible there. Yeah. But don't give up because there's really a lot to be said for having people from different fields with different skills with different experiences um, also people with interdisciplinary backgrounds mm. in, working in this field together because it's so diverse. Mm. I mean, sustainability can be almost everything in some ways. And so I think it's um, really, um, really important that these people all come into this field and work in this field and, and bring that experience and, and kind of diverse perspectives into the job. Um, I guess you need a lot of patience, uh, you need a lot of motivation um, and uh, especially the, the capability to motivate other people because it's not always obvious why we are doing these things and uh, um, therefore I think it's important to motivate other people and to show the bigger picture uh, instead of going to details and uh, also show the positive side of sustainability. Okay. I mean, it's always good to be to, to be open, to, to, to have an open mindset, to be willing to, to dig deep into many topics. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, would, I would always say that it's interesting to have diverse teams in sustainability, to have not just people with a legal background, not just people mm -hmm. with an economics background, 
but to also to have people with a technical background mm. um, so that they merge uh, their knowledge and, and, and uh, yeah, work, work for sustainability.